I greet you once again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the previous episode, we talked about Psalm 91 and verse 1 about abiding in him and dwelling in him. When we abide and dwell in him continually, we can bring forth fruit. Today I just want to focus our attention to two more things. It says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty the first thing talks about a secret place and the second thing it talks about a shadow of the almighty what is a secret place we are going to look into today the word secret means a covering or a shelter a place where you hide when you have a problem when you are in difficulty you run to god and it says secret place of the most high we run to god we go to god and say god i come before you god and i thank you that you are my shelter god in difficult times we take we say god you will shelter me lord it's a place of safety when we go to god god always helps us that's what it means a place of privacy we don't have to go to god only when we have a need or a difficulty or when we are facing some kind of a crisis or a problem no it's a place that we go every day spend time with him bible says that he is our protector he protects us in from danger harm So we go to God and say God I thank you Lord you are my security Lord you know the enemy has you know sometimes plans he has planned certain things scheming things against us but when we go to God God will give us instructions from his word and he will tell us he will instruct us how to preserve ourselves you know he will say don't go out today or don't do this so as we abide with him in that secret place spend time with him he will begin to speak to you there are times you know when we meditate the word of god it may be just one scripture he will just encourage you through that scripture and he will show you you know the decision that you ought to make don't do this today don't go here today i remember once when i had a strong impression not to leave the house not to go especially at that particular time but i disobeyed the holy spirit and i left and i met with an accident so it's important to obey the holy spirit the holy spirit speaks to us in a very still small voice so as we begin to exercise as we begin to train our spirit we will begin to hear what he wants us to no or do so the word there secret means a covering a shelter god i come to you father i come to you because you are my shelter god and also the second word that it talks about shadow you know when you uh, the word shadow we see when when we go out in the sun it's so hot and we sweat there and sometimes we look for a shade a shadow a place where we can hide and when we come to that you know shady place it oh it's nice to be here so it's like that when you go to god it's a place that you can have that shade god always protects you it's a place of defense it's a shadow of shadai that's what one of the translation it says where we go in god and say god you are my protection god thank you lord from the storm i have protection from hard times difficult times i have protection in the book of psalms verse chapter 17 and verse 8 says keep me as the apple of thine eye hide me under the shadow of thy wing hallelujah that's a beautiful verse bible says that he protects you we are the apple of his eye he protects us He loves us so much that he guards us. He preserves us. And in Psalm 23 and verse 4 it says, "Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, 
you may be facing a situation you know it can be like death maybe it's a sickness you know some kind of a pain you know ailment in your body or some kind of a you know doctor's report that you have received the bible says that when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death it's just a shadow it says you have to make a declaration say i will fear no evil no devil i'm not going to be afraid i'm not going to be afraid i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me lord you are always with me your word and your spirit that's what it means god your word and your spirit they comfort me so take time to get into the scriptures and say god i abide under that shadow god in psalm 36 verse 7 it says how excellent is thy loving kindness o god therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings we can put our trust in his wings trust in his word and god gives us a promise let's say god i take this promise i thank you lord you always encourage me through these words god so it's important that we know that god is on our side he's not against us he's for us he's not against us he loves you and me he wants us to take instructions from him and in luke chapter 1 verse 79 it says to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace this is what when jesus came to this earth it says that jesus came to give light to them that sit in darkness jesus is the light of the world he said i have come to give light to those that sit in darkness jesus is the light of the world so when you are in that shadow of death god's word will begin to guide you comfort you and he will guide your feet into the way of peace hallelujah so that's the meaning where we come to god and say god you are my shelter you are the sacred place that i abide in and you are the shadow lord that i abide in lord and i take refuge lord and also we see another thing in this particular verse it says it talks about god's character he says he is the most high god and then it also says he is the almighty god so it speaks about most high god and the almighty god the word most high god it's one of the names of god where it says el elyon in the book of in hebrew it's the highest supreme god there is no other god who is higher than him so we trust in the god who is you know he's the highest he is el elyon that's one of his name there is no other god who is higher than him he is not controlled by outside forces he is an independent god he is the greatest power who has the authority and the greatest power so we can say god i trust in you and we see in genesis chapter 14 where abraham he came to god and uh, the bible says that abraham more brought his uh, tithes before god and he came to melchizedek who was the high priest at that time and he brought forth the his tithes or the one tenth and he says something like this in genesis chapter 14 and verse 18 and melchizedek king of salem brought forth bread and wine and he was the priest of the most high god melchizedek ministered to abraham when he brought his tithes he ministered to him he said he brought forth bread and wine that's communion it talks about communion and verse 9 it it says and he blessed him and said blessed be abraham of the most high god possessor of heaven and earth so it talks about the most high god who is a possessor he's the possessor of heaven and earth and verse 20 it says and blessed be the most high god which hath delivered thine enemies into thy hand and he gave him tithes of all so when melchizedek ministered to abraham he gave his tithes to him that's how we come to god and say god you're the most high god i trust in you lord i don't trust in this economy lord i trust in you god when i bring my 
first fruits my tithes my offerings i know lord that you will protect the rest of my finances god you will protect my life lord thank you lord so there is protection because you abide with him and most high god he is your friend and the second thing the psalmist talks about almighty god the word almighty mean most powerful it's not just knowing god but he says he's the most powerful god he's the most powerful god he's almighty he's able to do all things he's mighty to do mighty to do all things he's a mighty king he's the god of heaven he's the supreme god so we ought to trust in him and say god i thank you you are the almighty god so when we begin to see this psalm or verse 1 of psalm 91 we see few things that you know the psalm is he begins to trust in the lord he abides with him and say god you are my everything you are almighty god i put my trust in you and then when we are encouraged and strengthened in the presence of the lord we can see verse 2 he says you begin to speak in boldness you take courage and you speak forth because you know that you have god on your side The Bible says he who dwells in you or he who abides in you the one who is inside of you is greater than he that is in the world so verse 2 gives you the ability the authority and you can say i will say of the lord this is who god is to me i will say of the lord he is my refuge because i have had a relationship with him i can say god you are my refuge you are my fortress you are my god in him will i trust god i put my trust in you because god i will say you are my refuge hallelujah you can speak forth and say god even in the time of you know trouble and trials and when there is storm i know lord you are my refuge lord you are my refuge lord psalm in second samuel chapter 22 verse 3 says like this the god of my rock in him will i trust he is my shield and the horn of my salvation my high tower and my refuge my savior thou savest me from violence you have to personalize and say god you are my refuge you are my fortress lord you are my god hallelujah psalm 94 verse 22 it says but the lord is my defense he is on my side he defends me he protects me and my god is the rock of my refuge so you begin to know he's not just you know whom others say who god is no you know because you have had a relationship with him and you continue to have a relationship with him and you can say he's my god psalm 145 verse 5 says i cried unto the lord and i said thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living hallelujah in the land of the living we are in the land of the living so you can say and jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 19 oh lord my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction Hallelujah when the enemy afflicts you you can say God you are my refuge God you are on my side God I'm not afraid I will not be afraid the second thing the psalm he says he is my fortress what is a fortress a stronghold a defense you know it's like a person inside a castle is protected that's what a fortress means in psalm 144 verse to it says my goodness and my fortress my high tower and my deliverer my shield and he in whom i trust this is whom the psalm is speaks about say god you are my goodness you are my fortress you are my high tower i take refuge in you lord i am inside of you you are my tower lord i'm delivered i'm shielded god i'm protected well protected and i put my trust in you Psalm 18 verse 2 it says the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my God my strength in whom I will trust my buckler my horn of my salvation and my high tower oh that's so beautiful you can say who God is to you and Psalm 31 verse 3 it says for thou art my rock and my fortress therefore for my for thy name's sake lead me and guide me when you face trouble when somebody is persecuting you you can say god you will hide me in that fortress lord you will hide me lord i will hide inside of you 
and also it says he's my god in verse 2 In Psalm 91 verse 2 it says I will say of the Lord you have boldness to say it says he is my refuge my fortress he is my god he may be your god but I know he's my god because I spend time with him and God speaks to me every day I have a living relationship with him and he's my god Hallelujah and that word my god is Elohim he's the ruler and the true god He's a ruler and the true God. When Jesus was on the cross and he was almost, you know, giving up his life for the world, he cried out like this and he said, "My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me?" He knew the Father God had left him at that very time because he came down for a purpose. He came down to pay the sin penalty for mankind. And when he said, "My God, my God, You know for almost 33 and a half years Jesus had a relationship with his God but at this time he became sin who knew no sin so that we might be the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus so he cried out said my God why have you forsaken me God will never forsake you because Jesus was forsaken by God so you can cry out any time and say God you are my God you are my God and we see Thomas And one time he denied or he when when the disciples were in a room and they were in a close to the room and Jesus appeared after his resurrection and he said peace and he greeted them but at that time Thomas was not in that room Thomas was not with them but later on when Thomas came back the disciples said you know the lord appeared to us he came Thomas said no until I put the my hand into his nail pierced hand I will not believe I will not trust and then Jesus appeared once again when Thomas was in the, was in the room and Jesus called Thomas in John's gospel chapter 20 and verse 20 it says Thomas answered and said unto him my lord and my god Jesus called him and said now you put your finger put your hand into my nail pierced hands and don't doubt at that time thomas he said you are my god and my lord and my god so he's not only you know a god of another person or maybe he has some other some other person has an experience but he becomes your god and your lord you can say you're my god so you can say god i thank you lord i can overcome any situation because god is with me god is with me paul he knew that god was with him in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 he says like this, but my god shall supply all of your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus though he was in prison he knew god was with him at all times that's why he encourages them he says my god shall supply even when he was in prison he had hope even when he was in prison so you can have hope today you can say you are my god you are my god so let's just pray this was and say god i thank you this day i know lord according to this verse psalm 91 verse 2 you are my refuge you are my fortress you are my god i thank you lord i put my trust in you lord i put my faith in you i put my hope in you lord i know lord that you are a good god in times of need you will always help me lord Thank you Father I pray for each one Father right now whoever is viewing in Jesus name and Lord they will come to a place and say God you are my fortress you are my refuge Lord I put my trust in you God in Jesus name amen